The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, Reels Puppet in the game. And today, I'm talking about the brand new Luna by UAD. When I heard this drop for free, I had to get my hands on it and see if this DAW was any good. And I tried to find some information on the internet about it, but I couldn't find much. So we're just gonna see what we find. And let's see what instrument we got. We got this new one called Shape from Universal Audio. That's cool, they give you a free instrument with your DAW. Let's see if we could do another instrument. Oh, here we go. This is how we're gonna create multiple. We're gonna use Contact. I like this. Already reminds me a lot of Pro Tools too, which is good because I love Pro Tools. And let's just play shape a little bit. I didn't even set up my MIDI controller and it already works. Let's go. So this is probably where you click to open shape. Here it is. Okay, so I guess this is our stock piano, the Rave LLT. Oh, my name's Reed. That's cool. This is a really nice collection. This is almost like having contact. Really nice. Oh. So if this is like Pro Tools, I'm guessing if I hit seven, my metronome will come on. And let's hit three, and we should be able to record. And a one, and a two, and a... That's pretty close to what I want. I'm guessing this letter Q here is going to help me quantize my work. Let's do it most of the way. Let's see what we get. Oh, I had a wrong note right here. You just click right here and delete it right in the clip. How handy. I don't like that metronome, but hey, it's free. I do like this instrument though. Let's see. Actually, before I go into contact, I think I want to dive through here a little bit more and see what else I can find. Or, oh, duplicate track. So let's change this to be called strings. I'm going to get lost really quickly if I don't keep myself organized. Maybe a flute. Flute long. Sick. I love this. Do you have any effects we can put on here? Maybe if we close. Oh, here we go. Effects. Perfect. Then I just want to drop some flute and over it. I'm going to pull up my favorite UAD reverb of all time. And then let's say Command D. Nice, this is just like Ableton. <laughs> I feel like I've said it's just like three different DAWs now. They really did a good job making it familiar. That's what I mean to say. I'd like to make one more shape sound. Ooh, glockenspiel. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Duplicate this over one more time and we're rocking. So now let's go up to contact that we created. I've went through and updated every single drum kit at Whole Loops to include a contact library. I think I want to do some hi-hats. And we'll call that hi-hats one. Let's just duplicate this and that'll be a shortcut to make some more drums. I also wanna start coloring these things differently. So I'm gonna just click here on the color palette and let's make our drums red. We can leave our strings this color and I'm gonna make my master channel gray so I know that that's not an instrument track. You can also delete this MIDI. Contact, 
And let's just go to the claps that come with Urban Beats 4. Might do a combination of two claps like that. Just turn the velocity down on this so that the main ones are loud. I'm just going to duplicate this. Different drum kit for our kick, though. And since that was one note, it already folded it for me. And I'm just going to go into the quantize menu, duplicate it over. Let's call this kick. Do your 808s sound like floppy trash? Are you tired of boring bass lines that just don't hit right? Introducing Disrespectful 808s, the all new collection of 808 bass samples so disrespectful you might just get offended too. Disrespectful 808s is available now only at holoops.com. I think I actually want to do one more hi-hat thing, so I'm just going to delete the MIDI on this duplicate, this can be called Hi-Hats 2. And let's just find a single Hi-Hat that we could play. Cool, then we're just gonna record this in. And now that they're quantized, I'm just gonna take them and hold Command, just like in Ableton, slip them over to the right. I already know I want these hi-hats to be spinning around, so I'm gonna, the cyclosonic panner, this thing is sick. And speaking of plugins, it should also not just, it should show you all of your AU plugins. They don't support VSTs. Let's just double check that real quick. So let's go to the inserts on our original hats. Put like Pan Man, there we go. Yes. Let's just try this preset for the other hats. Let's do a duplicate of the claps, and I'm going to call this Rim. Contact is really going to be your best friend here because Luna does not come with a sampler, so Contact is free, and it's going to work in Luna. So I would recommend getting Contact, even if you're not going to use the Whole Loops drums, but they are on sale right now. So WholeLoops.com if you're interested. So let's go to, let's do snares. So just gonna do just that piece and let's have this happen every so often let's see if we can also shrink all these two tracks oh here we go small that's more like it time to make a disrespectful 808 and that's what this is gonna be our 808 channel I'm gonna move it to the top Make it a slightly different shade of red, maybe. And a one -y, and a two -y, and a. These notes are wrong, but my piano didn't have enough keys for me to hit the right note, so I'll just slide those up. And then this whole thing can get quantized. I love this. And maybe we'll go back and add some instruments from shape here. And this is just gonna be another layer. And I might even, since this one is coming in panned a little bit, I might just switch this channel to simple stereo pan. Boom. Next thing I want to do is take a halftime plugin and put it on all these synths. So I'm going to hit Command Shift N and make a new stereo bus. And this is going to be, we'll call it our synths bus. So we're going to take all of these and let's make the output synths. Boom. We just sent all of these to this bus. So now I have a convenient place to put a single plugin. 
And I said I wanted to do half time. Oh! Oh! This is definitely happening. All right, we got to figure out how to automate this knob because it's about to get hot in here. All right. Come on, show me the mix. Oh, here we go. I can search for it. Tight. All right. This is really easy. So if you double click, it makes a new one. Oh, there we go. And if you hold option, you can click and get rid of it. And to bring the volume back up after halftime, I'm going to put a distressor on here. We'll turn the comp down a little bit more towards the dry. Use it as a parallel compressor. I think I'm just going to add some more percussion. So I'm going to make another instrument track. And let's see what percussions they give you inside a shape. I think they just need a little bit of reverb. I'm gonna use a really cool one. Capital Chambers reverb, I absolutely love. thing I want to add is a duplicate of this and then switch the clap to a snare at some point. I don't want the whole beat to be a clap. I think that'll get a little bit boring. So I think at this point the snare should come in. We'll just go into this contact and we'll switch clap to snare. Perfect. So now that we've arranged our strings, flutes, bells, and all the drums on top, let's take a listen to our very first beat in UAD Luna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. This is not bad for a free dog. very first beat in a free DAW. And to answer the original question, yeah, it's great. It's a little bit stripped down, but it's got everything I need. And if you want to get a hold of the drum kits that I use to make this beat in contact, I'll put a link to all the whole loose products in the description, and I'll catch you guys next time in another tutorial. Peace out.